a masterstroke. The front page of L'Equipe talking about Lyon's 1-0 victory over Juve. Meanwhile, Tutto Sport, this is not Juventus. Uh, Julian, what's the reaction being in France to bid back Juve in their performance? Well, I've, I've, I think the front page of L'Equipe sums it well sums it up really well, sorry, is that Lyon almost played the perfect game. They were very good in the first half. They hit the ball and they scored that goal. They were clinical. And then they defended really well in the second half with less control of the ball, less control of the game, but still defensive, defensively as a team, the togetherness, the spirit was, was just perfect. And Juve had 14 shots, none on target, which I think for a big club like them is, is pretty pathetic. And I think the French were quite quick to to sum it up in that way is that they were actually never really threatening Lyon. Yes, maybe at the end there was a couple of dodgy decisions by the referee. Maybe one could have been a penalty. But apart from that, there was nothing much really to worry the Lyon defence or Anthony Lopez in goal. And yeah, the second leg would be far more difficult back in Turin. But Lyon, from what they showed on Wednesday night, could certainly believe that they could get another masterstroke and then maybe going through as well. Just to emphasise the size of this achievement, Jules, this isn't first choice Lyon. They had a number of players missing. Yes, of course, and probably the best one in Memphis Depay, who's had a long injury, Jeff René Delaide as well, Raphael uh, was also missing, and Kone, so the two full backs, and Dubois, the right wing back on the night, just came back from injury. On the other side, he was Kone, who played as a left wing back, who's usually a, a left winger. So, so Garcia had to tinker a little bit, but he found the right system in that so four, five, the 3 5 2, sorry, that really troubled Juve in the first half with Usamawa having a wonderful first half. And then defensively, in the second half, they played a bit deeper, they were more compact, and they defended really well. And I think the, the idea would be very similar in the second leg in, in Turin, but certainly for a team that has been struggling in Liga, especially at home, where they have a very, very average record this season, to come out and put out a a performance like this, raising the game the way they did on Wednesday night, is pretty impressive. Let's take a look at how the bookies have things set, looking ahead to the second leg. A Juve favourites 5-4 to four on. Uh, Leon, meanwhile, evens uh, to advance despite that 1-0 lead. Um, should we play the percentage game? Yeah, why not? Oh. Why not? Mm. What percent, Stevie? Juve to advance? 75%. Oh, quite big Ooh. then. Bigger Listen, than the bookies Le have it. Leon have been struggling for any sort of consistency for most of the season, right? And they come, they turn around and put in a performance that surprised everybody. Mm -hmm. Really, what are the chances of them doing it twice in a row? And the fact that they're away from home is the biggest problem. You know, had had they got had they put this performance in away from home in the first leg and were coming back home, then I would look at it slightly differently. But the fact that they're so inconsistent, I don't see how they can, particularly defensively, they can't perform two two games in a trot like this. I just don't see it. I have to dispute the uh, headline of Tutto Sport and say, non è Juve. Yeah, no. this is Juve. It's what we have seen the whole year. There is nothing about the performance yesterday that is any different than most of the games that Juventus has played this year, mm. where they're predictable and they're depending on a moment of greatness by Cristiano Ronaldo. And if it doesn't come from him, it doesn't come from anybody else. Percentage? Having said all that, 60-40. 60-40? <laughs> Jules? I'll go 80-20 for Juve. Wow, even Garcia that's said a the bluff. That's a night. bluff, <laughs> No, Come on, Jules. Even, even Garcia said Juve are, are much better than us. And at home, if you think about last season, for example, where they lost 2-0 at Atletico Madrid and then won 3-0 at home with the hat-trick of Ronaldo, this is a game that they should easily win at home because Lyon I haven't been that good and I've, I've been very inconsistent, like Stevie just said. So 80-20 is fair, but that still leaves 20% for Lyon to go through. So we still believe. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.